Hi everyone, Sean here from Chordistry.com. Today I'm going to show you how to play Down by the River by Milky Chance. It's a simple finger picking chord progression that just repeats over and over and I'm going to break down how to play it in this video. If you check the description, you're going to find a link to the tabs. While you're down there, you'll see my social media links and you can hit that subscribe button for more lessons just like this one. Alright, I'm going to zoom in now so we can check this one out. Okay, so we're in standard tuning today. E, A, D, G, B, E. Now we have just one chord progression in this song, and you play the same chords over and over in the same pattern. And the chords are F sharp minor, A, E, and B minor. So let's learn how to play these chords and then we'll talk about the finger picking pattern to use with each one of them. To make an F sharp minor chord, your first finger bars across the second fret on all six strings. Have your third and fourth fingers go on fret four of the A and D strings. And I like to use my second finger to help out the first so I can get all of the notes out. Play all six strings. A is up here. Your first finger bars across fret 5 on all 6 strings. Your 3rd and 4th fingers are on fret 7 of the A and D strings, and now your 2nd finger is on fret 6 of the G string. Strum all 6 strings. Then we have E, an open chord. Your 1st finger is on fret 1 of the G string. Your 2nd and 3rd fingers are on fret 2 of the A and D strings. Strum all six strings. And finally, B minor goes like this. Your first finger is on fret two from the A to high E strings, barring right across there. And then your third and fourth fingers are on fret four of the G and D strings. And then your second finger is on fret three of the B string. Strum the A to high E strings. F sharp minor goes to A, goes to E, and then B minor. And that's the chord progression that just goes over and over for this whole song. So now let's get the finger picking patterns down so we can play this. Okay. That's the pattern right there. Your thumb is on the E string your first finger on the D string, and your second finger on the G string. And just go thumb, first, second. The thumb is going to move to the A string on the second time around and do the same thing, A, D, G. Just go thumb, first, second. So E, A, and then E, and A again. And that's essentially our pattern. We're going to move to the A chord and do the same thing. Thumb on the E string, first and second fingers on the D and G strings, go E, D, G. Move your thumb to the A string, go A, D, G, and then E, D, G, A, D, G. Go to E, do the same exact thing. And then Moving to the B minor chord, we're going to move the whole finger picking pattern up one set of strings. So now it's A, D, A, G, B, D, G, B, A, G, B, D, G, B. So you're just here now. And then back to F sharp minor.
and that's how you play with that finger picking pattern. So now, here's kind of the form of the song. You're gonna play that chord progression around four times for the first verse. And then, on the last B minor, give it a strum and hold it out because we're gonna be doing four more as sort of like a chorus, okay? After you do that, we're on to another verse. Same thing, four times through our F sharp minor, A, E, B minor chord progression. Still finger picking the whole thing. And then after those, you wanna strum it out. You wanna go like this. Kind of like a tremolo strum. You're not really concerned about how many times you strum it, just that you're strumming it fast. So strum it as fast as you can, not too fast, but just enough so it sounds kind of like that. And you just switch the chords when you need to switch the chords, not after so many strums, just when you need to. Cool, you do that twice before the finger picking pattern comes in, but then both things are going at the same time for two more times through the chord progression. So you can choose which one you wanna play when you're playing along to the song. You can either keep strumming for two more times or start the finger picking pattern and do two times through that. Okay, so once you're done that, we're just basically gonna continue to play our chord progression. I believe you hold the B minor after the second time of uh, additional finger picking with the strumming, so watch out for that one. And then after that, you're just gonna finger pick the same chord progression the whole time after that. So you're just gonna keep going around F sharp minor to A to E to B minor with this pattern. So if you have any questions, you can put them in the comments below. That's gonna be it for this lesson. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, hit that like button. If you want more lessons just like this one, hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you next time with another lesson.